Hi, so it's uh, 9th of July and it's 10:30 uh, a.m. If we uh, see the data, let's uh, refresh the data. And uh, I just tweeted about AU Bank. Uh, a few of the other companies which you should be keeping track of is Bharat Forge, uh, Marico, AU Bank, and. Uh, Bajaj FinServe, uh, we have been tracking this since last two days. Emphasis and Metropolis, I already t uh, tweeted this in uh, in the morning around about 9.30ish and uh, these two were really good runners. And also we took a trade in, oh, okay, Double is also looking good, uh, but right now I think it's uh, better that uh, you stick with uh, uh, AU Bank and see if it is able to uh, um, take a support at 1150 levels and uh, Bharat Forge is also looking really good but in uh, in any sense the trends are very much in uh, in in start uh, so you don't uh, need to we actually took a very good trade in Coromandel it was in one of our reversal candidates uh, from yesterday and uh, this trade uh, went really good uh, we can see that uh, TCS is losing uh, strength uh, with uh, uh, though it's uh, able to cross 3250 and is a uh, near day highs but uh, if uh, I would suggest to uh, book profits if you are in profit at least I would have I don't have any position and this is uh, Tata Motors is also gaining a lot of uh, attention and it was able to reverse exactly from 302 levels uh, which is good and now it's again inside the 306 band so Tata Motors uh, will definitely be in my radar and this is also true for RBL bank has some sort of a uh, very good uh, long way you can see over here uh, so there is some interest in RBL Bank uh, let's see how it uh, goes uh, from here and um, uh, for RBL Bank uh, 220 would again be a very good target this was one of the trades uh, we took uh, two three sessions ago so it's it's, uh, it's a known trade for me uh, Muthut Finance unfortunately is uh, seeing upper wicks and so Muthut Finance can correct more uh, and uh, the worst thing is it was not able to go towards uh, 1550 so Muthut Finance would be a short candidate for me uh, with any uh, weakness in uh, nifty other than that um, there is uh, chola fin is also uh, one of the companies uh, which might uh, have some more weakness and uh, no matter what chola fin for 500 and 505 uh, regions are very good and uh, ltts uh, was also a very good uh, trade in the morning it was uh, it uh, it, uh, it started off uh, with red and now it seems like uh, the uh, redness is uh, it's it's uh, uh, what do you say this is getting weaker so this might uh, get a support round about 2900 and yesterday we discussed uh, that uh, 3000 was a short term target which was already uh, reached so maybe we will stay away and uh, wait for LTTS to get a support at 2900 Aisha Motor uh, is also looking weak and actually the trend is very strong so uh, uh, this would be my number one short candidate so if we look into the lower quadrant uh, we can see HDFC bank over here uh, again uh, the trend is not a Bajaj Auto and BPCL Axis Bank Reliance so I really don't know why yep, uh, Indusind Bank and also Hind Petro uh, was uh, uh, so but uh, the, it doesn't have any uh, much uh, trend so basically let's see if it is able to, uh, to uh, go to us 280 and then we will see if uh, the trend comes in or uh, there's some strength uh, in terms of uh, the weakness or in terms of uh, going long and short so basically right now it's, it's just uh, not meaningful so as we can see in this lower quadrant there are big names uh, especially HDFC Bank, uh, Axis Bank, uh, Reliance and uh, uh, Bajaj Auto and HDFC is over here Chola Fin basically today uh, IDFC First Bank IGL also is uh, not going to move and this was also uh, tweeted uh, uh, in, in yesterday's uh, uh, pre-open watch uh, video where we uh, explicitly saw that IGL had lost its uh, strength which it was uh, their trend uh, yep so uh, that's it uh, so uh, if we look into uh, this uh, top quadrant the only company which is working is uh, Bajaj uh, Finserve I mean uh, and uh, Tata Steel again doesn't have uh, much 
national alum is also these companies are running good uh, but they don't have any trend so i don't want to jsw steel uh, we took a very good uh, trade in sale and uh, from 122.8 uh, we were carrying since yesterday and today it went towards 124.5 ish i booked out at 124 uh, so this was a good uh, uh, first uh, five minute uh, trade which was taken this was a btst and other than that uh, ongc is here tv slab torrent form yes and uh one of the companies uh which so basically i think going forward uh you know companies like lupin again took a very good support at one one uh four zero levels and uh, uh devious lab is over here lalpat lab is here torrent pharma is here uh, so, uh, this one was a reversal candidate from yesterday and this also went really good freedom transport finance uh, i've discussed it in yesterday's pre-open watch uh, or uh, it's a market watch for today and the stocks that you need to track for today you will find it in the upper right hand corner uh, and uh, so yeah it looks like you know uh, there is uh, some pharma at least uh, the steel looks good but uh, there is not a single steel counter over here uh, AO Bank I already tweeted uh, it's it's already uh, the, I'm in the trade and as I said uh, if we have to see if it is able to uh, dip towards 1150 and if it uh, gets uh, some support so going forward I think uh, maybe as a pharma uh, sort of uh, companies might come in but in general the market is uh, different you can see some pharma is here <coughs> sorry so basically the market is not that of a great uh, till now at uh, 10 30 a.m uh, one of the companies i saw uh, one of uh, uh, the traders uh, tweeted about is uh, cipla and he was talking about uh, some uh, positions but yeah ex uh, exactly so uh, my fno actually tweeted about uh, cipla so i started looking into it but uh, i didn't find my trend uh, analyzer to give me any trend maybe this will go because uh, they use some different uh, parameters and metrics and i don't use them so maybe supply is also if uh, you can track if you are uh, tracking uh so no matter what uh, this is how the status of the market looks like i would be very skeptical in going long at least uh, now except in uh, the trades which i'm already in uh, because going forward i really uh, am waiting so there are big uh, uh, stocks which are near all time uh, their all time high or day high uh, but uh, i really don't know if they would be able to sustain and whether they would be able to give us a meaningful gain today so thanks a lot for listening i also tweeted about nifty i will be coming out of nifty at uh, 730 15730 region so that actually is the channel resistance and i tweeted about it so yep that's it from my side thanks a lot for listening hope this video is going to help you and as always please consult your financial advisor bye bye